So, mate, we're into uh, pre-season. How are things settling in without uh, the big fella? It, uh, it, was a, it was strange at first, not having uh, the big guy around. But, yeah, mate, it feels pretty, pretty normal now. Um, there's enough familiar faces around that it's, yeah, it's just, you know, business as usual, really. So, yeah. uh, still, still see him a fair bit and still, you know, he's, he's a good friend. So, we still, uh, still catch up fairly regularly. I know a few of the boys kept saying they're waiting to turn around and he's going to be there sort of thing. It's <laughs> been so long, I guess. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah, mate, like, uh, what's he, he was here for 14 years and, you know, him and I had uh, coached for six years together and formed a great friendship and a great bond. And, um, yeah, you know, um, still get to catch up with him regularly enough. So, yeah, I hope he doesn't sneak up on me. <laughs> And uh, I guess, you know, they're big shoes to fill. How are you feeling a bit of the pressure or how, do, how does it feel early days, of course? Look, it is early days. Um, and yeah, I do. I, I definitely, it's, uh, I feel the pressure from myself and it's, um, but mate, it's, I, I love this place and uh, it's a great opportunity to take the role on. It was something that uh, I aspired to do. So I'm, you know, I'm in the role now and I definitely will feel the pressure and, um, you know, but I think that's expected. You know, we're one of the most successful clubs in Australia and I'll take the responsibility seriously. As far as the progress in the, its early season, as we said, but uh, yeah. how, how are things travelling? Uh, look, travelling well. It's been a it's a shorter pre-season, um, and uh, the the heat is definitely challenging some of our group. Um, but mate, we're getting there. We're we're on track. You know, sort of we work off a plan on where we want to be. You know, trial one, trial two, etc. So we're on track with that. Uh, I feel comfortable with where we're at. Uh, you know, we lost some some boys in the off-season to professional deals, which is exactly what we're here to do and facilitate, so I'm really proud of that. Um, and so we'll bring some of our great young Colts and new recruits through. We've got a bit of a different draw this year with the away games, with the work being done on the uh, running track around the yep. field. How, what's your thoughts around that? Look, my initial thought was, oh, I'm not happy, but mate, we just get on with it. You know, what, what can we do? So, yeah, I mean, uh, I've let the playing group know and, you know, their reaction was pretty similar, like, oh, what a pain. And, who cares? You know, we'll, we'll, we'll create a fortress in the back end of the season here at Stud to Heavy. And as far as what we can expect for the, from the heavies in 2023? Look, I think our DNA is not going to change a whole lot. You know, we'll still look to play pretty quickly, still break down focused. Uh, we'll still get to, you know, look to get as many passes in as possible. Uh, really focus on skill based, you know, unless I end up with uh, a few 150 kilo blokes turning up on our doorstep, it'll be, yeah, I think you'll, you'll certainly recognise uh, the way we play uh, is similar to previous years. Good luck with it. Thanks, Race.